Hi there. Good afternoon. Dr. Gary here. Dr. Gary on the road. We are dental practice brokers and uh, we sell dental practices throughout the United States. I was a dentist for 25 years and we're doing the dental practice brokerage for eight years now. 11 years, excuse me. We have eight employees, including two CPA accountants. So we have a great team together to deliver results for you. That's what we do, we deliver. We get very engaged in our deals. I enjoy what I'm doing immensely, and it's been very helpful and rewarding to the seller to have an exit strategy and the buyer to start his career. Our phone number is 201-663-0935, 201-663-0935, and our website is Dental Practice Guide. Dot com dentalpracticeguide.com so call us anytime even if you want some advice we're more than happy to help you and sellers if uh, you want a free evaluation of your practice call us we'll give you some market analysis and also if you need help and you'd like to sell to one of the DSO groups and your practice is grossing over a million dollars uh, we can help you there because they'll often pay our commission and sometimes you get attorney fees reimbursed at closing so uh, we're full service we're doing this for 11 years we're here to help you we're trying to bring you current day events whenever they occur so you are on the cutting edge we feel that we are in the trenches giving you real-time information with no fluff so here's what happens today i have this doctor suburban area and uh he feels his practice is worth essentially 100%, like 98%. And this is an older office, minimal number of operatories, not many at all. Uh, office is a bit, um, is, you know, it's tired looking. The equipment not too bad, but the office is tired looking. And um, you have to go up a flight of stairs, so not on the ground floor. And there's no elevator in the building. It's an older walk-up. So, um, I mean, it's good that he's somewhat near a shopping center, but still, um, with an office that's older inside, and all the, even if the equipment is okay, uh, patients may get turned off going up a, a, a two-story walk-up. I had another one like this in Jersey, too. And uh, he's telling me, or she's telling me, whatever he, she, the practice is worth essentially 98 to 100% of one year's gross. I said to them, in today's marketplace, that's a bit challenging. Those aren't the values we generally work with if it's a small practice and if it's being purchased by a private individual. If it was a DSO, that's a whole different story. They're gonna pay more, much more than the private guys. So I did try to explain this. I said it's market driven by cash flow analysis. That's what your practice is worth. It's worth what the buyer's willing to pay what the seller is willing to let it go for and what the bank is willing to finance. The seller then insists that they've worked there a long time and uh, they put a lot of effort into the practice. And I explained it is. And they have a good, pretty good marketing campaign and they spend time developing that. He explained how he, uh, he spent so much time developing his logo and he's gonna give his logo to the new doctor. He says it has to be worth the potential. And I explained practices aren't paid on potential. Potential is its marketing value. Is it a marketable uh, practice? In other words, is there something there about it? So when, the, when it hits the marketplace, it'll move, it'll move rapidly. But, um, I said there are maybe certain characteristics, but the average buyer is not paying for potential. On a private office, they're in that 65 to 80% range, sometimes higher, sometimes lower. But generally for a practice like yours, I explained, doctor, I'm not gonna be getting that higher range. You only have uh, two ops and you don't have modern equipment. It, it could be challenging. So the doctor came back to me again and said, you don't get it. The potential here is unbelievable. It's only been me all these years, but I built up a very good practice. So who's ever buying it should benefit from my years of service. 
I explained once again, it's really based on cash flow analysis, tax returns, profit loss, discretionary expenses, um, W-2s. So we have to know the, uh, the expenses. And you know, based on the averages, it, it's hard to get 98%. And I did mention it to my buyer. He said, that's not a candidate for 98%. That's what my buyer said. So I went back to the seller this morning and said, well, you know, buyer is not going to pay 98% for your practice. It's just not happening. He's not doing it. So um, the seller then started explaining about the quality uh, aspects of the practice and it's ready to take off to the next level. He built it up quite a bit or she built it up quite a bit. And this is a special opportunity for somebody that my buyer should just grab it. Uh, so uh, my buyer said, it's not my wheelhouse, not at that price. So we've got to calm the seller down and try to reason with them. But this is what happens in our world. So I'm talking to them now, perhaps if I bring another buyer and they're also offering, they're not offering 98%, uh, then after a while, maybe the buyer will, the, the seller will get it. Uh, that it's hard to get 98% for a GP dental practice unless there are extraordinary conditions. So um, we're gonna see what we can do. But we could not service the doctor and I guess we'll just pull out. That's what it is, we're not gonna keep hanging in there. It wouldn't be fair to him, wouldn't be fair to himself to uh, or to me to keep trying to drag it out. So you have to be disappointed sometimes in these deals. This one's not working out, move on to the next one. Thank you, bye.